let's get start demo first so this is same series of generic repository with unit of work and here as we have the implement like work, uh, product with, with unit of work and without unit of work and now in this session we'll implement a generic extendable uh, repository so how we can do that uh, let me show you as a example first so here see in previously we just create an extendable repository but now we'll change it to extendable repository with the generic repository so that whatever do we have extendable repository like you have 10 repository or 20 repository extendable so you don't need to create again and again in a inside that unit of work so that will be handle that generic repository so let's get started implementation so before we start i'm especially recommend please watch my previous session first like uh, genetic repository with unit of work and also genetic, uh, genetic repository first so this is first lesson then you can just use that second one and then you can go to my github link you can get this repository as well so let's get a start so this is same example so far we have done and now what i will do just we have to remove this extendable repository to our generic repository. What would be my first step? So my first step would be inside a unit of work, you have to just create that signature. And how we can do that? This is very simple and straightforward. You have to just create T repository and get repository and in specify this whatever uh, extendable repository and their type and then uh, condition of that you know that only just contain this and also class and then finally i repository contain your uh, whatever app entity and then specify again this class so this is first step you have to do inside this unit of work and then just save it go to unit of work implementation just try to implement that method signature method so go to down here I need to implement over here so what is good what is the next step next step I need to write one method so let me copy that instead of wasting our time I'll explain what I'm trying to do over inside here so see first I'm trying to do uh, create an instance of that whatever uh, extendable repository I'm getting over here and then I create a uh, instance or we have res uh, resolved that dependency injection using that service provider and also we have to import this service provider inside this uh, unit of work class so how we can do that it's very simple go to constructor and use that uh, i service provider paste it over here and then use the variable and just create an assign inside this constructor this is done now move it to back in our implementation method now this is fixed it is just create a repository and resolve the dependency and then also we have checked if it is null then we have throw the exception and then what I'm trying to do we have set you know the DB context over here like this repository is I repository passing the entity and get the variable and then those get the variable we have to set our uh, DB context and we have to implement also this set DB context implementation inside our I repository uh, I repository class so where is that if you go to I repository I need to declare a one method over here and then we have to implement as well so what would be that method that would be method simply is a void method and we have to set that set db context and whatever db con expecting that parameter my db context and go back to your implementation of uh, i repository so let me go back to repository and here what you need to do just implement whatever you declared the method so first you just declare the method where is that yeah here is that and here what you need to do nothing you have to do special just assign uh, the db context whatever your db context to assign over here that's it it is read only right so you just remove that read only and you can just keep it to private as well not a big issue so yeah just remove that read only because 
we are trying to assign we are set so that read only will not work so just remove that read only so now this implementation done now go back to your unit of work implementation now we are able to get this method set db context and you have to just set your db context that's it and then finally if we have any issue inside this here if we are not getting this repository is not match over here i repository then we are again throw the exception and then finally return back to our repository so this is very simple and straightforward implementation we can do very easily so that is done now what we need to do just go to your controller or, or before that just uh, rebuild that solution so that we can make sure is anything missing or not okay so there is a, some missing uh, semicolon so let me fix we has been missed that okay the uh, additional something add so why mistakenly let's remove that again just rebuild again okay now it succeed so now we have to try to get those generic extendable gen generic repository over here so what is the way how we can get that so it is very simple for example see this is previously we just uh, using that uh, generic repository passing the entity we get that uh, entity but i will use that uh, uh, extendable repository for example this one right so this one see unit of work we get that uh, that uh, our extendable repository and get this method right so we'll change over here it is very simple so what you need to do just comment this line where create a product repository variable tree and then then unit of work unit of work and then dot get repository and here you specify your external repository see this method actually asking this to overload method right so let me show you like this yeah so in this year it's it's expecting you know your external repository whatever your external repository with your entity okay so how we can get it i will pass it over here so what is my repository name my repository name is i product repository and then their entity so what is my entity over here just support it i product repository is product and then stop and uh, and with this semicolon and now you will get this extendable product repository and then how we can call it it's very simple again just call this product repository dot get all the method you are able to get it over here like get by name get by id get by all or get by name everything right so this is our extendable method as well so let me show you with that and it is expecting actually await and finally we just store over here where result and this result we have to pass in here this is done so this is very simple uh, just whatever repository like i product repository or or i i order repository or i blog repository whatever extendable repository you just pass it you can get you know create a instance and resolve the dependency will get repository and their methods everything whatever we have so you will get over here and you can just show it over here let me run and see and also just put the debugger point over here and product by name i'm looking for product by name here product by name and then pass it to name whatever like fan execute now i'm here and just make sure okay there is a some issue so let me fix what is the issue that's why i i didn't fix anything because i want to show you there is a some issue uh i think it is a resolve dependency issue okay so how we can resolve that go back to your application in the solution and go to the program.cs file here i need to uh, resolve that dependency as well over here like for example builder.services 
and whatever transient and what is our services we are using our external repository my external repository name is i i product repository that's it so that you have to you know register as well your you know program.cs file so whatever external repository you have to register over here so that is that another step you have to follow just stop and run again and see so go to again here get and pass it to name for example fan execute now debug next now see now i am able to create the instance properly so it is also setting the db set entity type everything it is set properly and also getting the result as well see it is here just three count as well in the property so move it to next now i will get two rows of that output and continue now i will get this output so that means it is properly registered and i'm getting the able to get right so same way i i can use in from here I just replace for here as of now just replace for same things let me copy this line because this is a common line so we can get that whatever repository we can create the instance so first get it over here repository change it for here only this now it's done same things we can change it from our post endpoint as well same things for um, the here we can change it let me change here as well let me copy let me copy this and change it to our method that's it and now here also we can change it over here like then what i need to do i need to create another extendable uh, repository for order and just just create an extendable repository that's it you need to do nothing only just you know resolve the dependency inside the program.cs file that's it and you can get similar way just you have to pass that get repository and change it to i product repository to i order repository and pass it to their entity that's it and you can able to get even here as well so i'm not going to do that because it will take some time but yeah it is very simple if you face any issue please let me know and now save and let me check let me stop and run now see the same behavior is not and go to that get api get one so this is also now changes to extendable generic repository now i'm able to get that data as well and now is last recorded six now i'm trying to post something so let me post product id leave it the product id name is uh, uh, generic generic extendable repo zetri and price for example 5000 or 50000 let execute and it is going to debugger point let me debug also and it is creating the repository and then adding over here also add the repository in this order order so continue now i am getting the result of id 7 let me check it is last is 6 so let me execute one more time now it should be 7 with this our name and also i'm able to get this from by the name as well let me name is generic generic execute there's a one record and continue now i will to get this result so this is the way we can change it to our our uh, extendable repository to gen so that's it for this session and uh, Thanks for watching and upcoming session will create a generic uh, paging nation and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.